Um, I bought a um, blank doorbell. Um, there's some pretty good deals right now for these Black Friday um, bargains on of different locations. Uh, this particular one was bought at um, Best Buy. So I've never had a um, doorbell camera thing before, so I thought I'd buy one since they're cheap. This is the complete kit. It has the um, Sync 2 module that you'll need to save your um, videos without having to pay for cloud storage. But um, this is going to be a challenge to install. I'm going to use this plate. I'll show you the reason why. So the doorbell is in a recessed area here. And it's going to be difficult to get the wires to the doorbell unit. But I'm thinking with this adapter, I would install the adapter like this. And then run the wires up through that little, you know, leave a little crack there for the wires to run through. And then run them up through that uh, to connect it to um, the panel that goes into this. Um, I have this wall here, this brick uh, area extension that is going to block vision. So I'm thinking if I use this and angle it away from that, that it will at least give me a little bit more view of things approaching. It's not ideal, but I don't know what the heck. So that's where I am. I need to figure out how to mount this and wire everything up. Um, the doorbell is going to be controlling a mechanical doorbell. So I'm going to want to do the wired method, not the wireless. Okay, so um, there's a warning about um, power requirements when wiring it up um, for a mechanical doorbell. They want the voltage to between 16 and 24 volts AC. So you can do a couple of different things here. You can go to the doorbell unit and see what the transformer is rated at, what it says. You can measure the voltage at that transformer, usually on a wall somewhere. Or you can just take the doorbell off, put your voltmeter in AC mode, and just put terminals across uh, the terminals of the meter across the two uh, lugs of the doorbell. I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys. And... Then you read what you get. And eh, come on. So the answer is 19 volts. So this uh, setup that I have here, this doorbell that I have, is meeting the requirements for the power for wiring it directly. So just letting you know how you can do this. Here we have the mounted uh, blink camera. And I use the angle thing uh, to give me um, some separation uh, from the wall so that I can see more past this uh, blockage here. Uh, you can see the wire is out exposed. Um, it's not too bad. Maybe in the future I'll take this apart and, and do something a little different. Maybe put a block of wood there or something to cover things up. But for the time being this is fine. Uh, the wire uh, for the doorbell with the 19 volts AC was attached to the two terminals on the back of the camera. So now this even though it has batteries in here, uh, should be getting supply power from the uh, from the transformer of the doorbell. And so, um, I didn't care for this too much. When you open the door, um, it just barely clears, but it's okay. It's not ever going to hit. So when you push the doorbell, you can hear uh, the mechanical doorbell going off as well as this. And, of course, um, I'm getting notifications uh, because I pushed the doorbell and also because of motion sensing. Uh, that there's activity in front of the camera or that someone pushed the doorbell. So, something different, a little bit more secure now, I think. I can monitor uh, remotely the door. So, I guess that's it for these videos.